Hello guys, hope everyone are having a very good Friday. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do kinematics for the fixture units. Like one is clamp and one is pin unit. I'm going to show you today how to do kinematics for the pin and clamp unit of boarding void automation fixture. Let me begin the session or the video with a good code. The secret of getting ahead is the getting started. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, as you guys can see here, this is the old fixture again, okay? old uh, fixture, where uh, there are many clamp units and there are pin units also. Let me today really show you how to do candies for the clamp and for the pin unit. If you guys get the concept of how to do candies for clamp and pin unit, it will be easy for you to do candies for the old fixture and you the poses as I did. The Fixture what you are seeing on the screen, the kinematics are already done for the fixture and the, the, also the poses are have been created. The fixture is in the home position right now. Now I'll move it to clamp open and pin reply. And next to clamp open in extend. Next clamp close in extend. Clamp close in retract. It's very awesome, right? It's not very big deal. Uh, it is very easy concept. Uh, I'll make you guys understand it very easily. Uh, don't worry about it. Let me show you guys the, this picture in the cell. Okay. This is the cell. These are the robots. The picture what I'm going to show you today the units. This is the picture. And this robot will drop a panel on this picture. And the other, this robot will also drop a panel. Panel on this picture. And this robot will carry out the welding operation on this picture. So the poses should be created and it should be done. Happy to be Okay. At first, let me give you a part of the kinematic CLG files in the peers. Once you're given the part, let me call the units to the cell. I've called the units, the units are in the cell. I don't need all these units guys. I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to show you the single clamp iron pin unit, how to do kinematics. Okay? Then I'm going to change the uh, <coughs> Change the color coding and also delete this up in your way. Uh, let me call it all the time. Okay, so let me change the color color coding of this. Okay. At first, before starting the current piece, you have to put the unit in mod. Okay, guys, let's start with giving the color to the unit. But I'll give this color as green to cylinder, as these two, and you as black. Once you give the color coding, I right click and send it to black. Okay. <clears throat> when I do top display, all the units which have been blind will be over here. It will be easy for me to identify the units. Okay, now I'll give the movable parts as blue. Okay, these are the panel touching parts. So I'll give it as pink. And this is a fixed unit. I'll give it as gray. Now this layout. You can see how the color coding is done for the unit. After that, one more thing guys, I'll uh, put in complaint mode, I've got modeling, 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 kind of editor. Over here, I'll send all the movable parts to the other client plane and I'll start with creating a link for the fixed part. This is the fixed part, which will not move at all. So I'll uh, select all this and I'm going to give a name as fixed. Okay, the, uh, uh, the fixed part link is being created. Now I'll do toggle, go to toggle display and create create a new link for oil parts. I select your line selected and uh, you can uh, double click it and you can change the name if you want. If you, what is the name you want? We'll give it as oil. Once I've given the name and uh, given the link, the next step is that we have to drag a line from fixed to movable. You have to always keep in, uh, keep in mind guys, or you have to always remember that you have to give the link from parent to child. Always consider the movable parts as child and the parent as fixed. Okay, you have to, I uh, have uh, given the link from fixed to movable. What I have done was, I have clicked on fixed and drag the drag it to movable and the joint properties will open in that condition. 
The next step is you have to create an access folder. Okay, for creating access, you have to click on from. You have to keep the cylinder in this condition. You have to give a link from this left to the right condition so that the clamps will open in the right order. You have to uh, you have to keep this cursor in this uh, position so that it will be the cursor will be of a cent uh, position in the center. I have clicked on there and I will click on two to the opposite side of the cylinder. Now the axis has been created inside. And here the joint type, joint type you have to view it as revolute because it's a rotational kind of thing. Right? And the limits as constant, I'll give it as high limit as 90, low, low limit as 0 itself. Okay. You can see that the link is also been created. You can check it in joint job. Right? You can move it. Look, the maximum you can move it to 90 because they have given the high limit as 90, low limit as 0. And if you want, you can also create a pose. I uh, like. <coughs> There will be no opening close at the beginning. I have to create it. Uh, this is at uh, the close condition. I will give it as close to zero. I new open open as ninety. I will give the value over here ninety. Okay. Now you can, if you double click on close open, yeah, that's it. Home close. That's it, guys. The kinematics is all is already done for this uh, camp unit. If you right click on this <coughs> unit, sorry, and if you go to uh, positive you will see open, close, open, you can move it, okay, you can see it, right, so close condition, open, yeah. Let me now start doing kinematics for the pin unit. Once the path is given, not to worry, not to give the path again again, and I'll close the time given. I'll just call the single pin unit into the cell. When the customer gives you the unit, or when you client give you the unit, at the beginning, it will be in this way. There will be no color coding to the unit. Yeah, it will be in the gray color. You have to start giving color coding at the beginning itself. Uh, let me put the unit in uh, set mode score. Once I uh, yeah, put the unit in set mode, these will uh, keep in entity. And uh, once uh, I put in entity, this part, this is a part which is touching the panel, right? So I'll give it as pin. Once I give it, I'll blank it. And the remaining all these uh, units are blue. So I'll give it as blue, and I'll blank it. And I'll give the this as gray itself. Display all. Okay. In a clamp unit, what you had done was you created an axis from one end of a cylinder to other end of a cylinder. Here in this pin unit, you have to create an axis in a vertical order, not in a horizontal way, in a vertical order, from here to here. I'll show you that. Now, uh, let us start doing uh, creating a link for this unit. Go to modeling, kinematics editor. And uh, I'll send all the mobile parts. Uh, yeah, look here guys, I'll give the sensor as CM. Okay, and this has to be, uh, this is a fixed unit, it has to be, okay. <coughs> Let me uh, send all this module into. Uh, let me create a link for this fixed unit at the beginning. Uh, I'll uh, click on this create link and click all the select all the units or the parts and give the name as fixed. And okay, I'll do double display and I'll do the same way. Create the link for movable parts. Drag it, select it, and give the name as movable. Movable. Okay. Once both I'll display all. Once both fixed and the mobile links are created, the next step is to create an axis like a joint value. We have to link those things, right? We have to link fixed and mobile. Always I have explained in that. Uh, explain you guys the concept of parent and child, right? The fixed will always be parent, and the mobile will always be child. I have joined or both both parent and child, and I'll uh, select the from axis from here and two axis to here. Because this is uh, the motion is in the vertical way, right? So we have to select in this way. Uh, once I have uh, uh, created the axis between the points, I'll give the limit as constant. Uh, let me give the temporary um, value as 10 and OK. And even the, the links are created, the joints between the links are also been created. Let me check in the joint job, okay? No, we had done this thing. What we had done was 
we are not uh, selected over there. But, uh, let me do it once again. Let me give the from and uh, from this end, top end, bottom end, the vertical uh, axis are being created. Here we have to select this product. What the mistake what we had done was we had selected W. So the units were moving in the circular order. Now if we select this product, the units will be in the vertical way. Now let me give it as constant, I leave as 40. Okay, let me click on join zone and when you guys can see right, the units are moving in a vertical order and the reset works. And once you have uh, done the kinetics for this, you have to create a process. Of course, there will be no open or no close. Before I had done kind of tick properties in it, so this is not good. Let me create a new post for this. Pin X. Let us give the pin extend position, the pin R in extend condition. Click on OK. Great. Now let us create one more post. In pin retract condition. Whereas in pin retract condition, the pin will move downwards. Click on OK. Now you guys can see that the, the uh, pin unit is in the home condition. In the pin retract condition, the pin units will move downwards. And in pin extend condition, the pin will move upwards. That's it guys, this is how the current is done for pin units. Okay. And one more thing, one more concept guys. Uh, when you edit any poses, when you click on retract and go to edit, and if you think uh, you guys make any changes over here, and click on OK. And if you guys close it, the changes will not be taken. You have to click on update once not to or two to three times just on one and click on yes and then only the changes will be taking taking place whatever the changes you do on the two side you need to find the article content in that case the kinetics are for both uh plan and pin units are done i hope you guys understood the concept easily i explained very deeply very slowly um, so that you guys are able to understand it properly okay this way all when you uh after all those things uh, you can put it in this component, this component, this entity. If you want to click on all those single parts, you can click on entity and click on this. If you want the whole unit to get selected, you can click on this component, the whole unit will be selected. Okay, you guys are getting it right. After uh, putting into component mode, if you are after selecting, uh, right click on this, uh, go to pose editor. What if the poses you are given after doing kinematics? It will be taken away. That's it, guys. The uh, kinematics for pin unit is being done. I'll put it back into home position and if I want to save this, um, I should not close the whole of the edge. I have to end it. I at the beginning before the time release, what I had done was I was given set modeling, right? I have to more I have to give end modeling at the end. So it will ask you a uh, way to save. You can save it uh, where we want. You guys, if you guys understand or very clearly, you guys can give a like or comment or what are the improvements should I do? What do you guys want or any feedbacks? You can give it in the comment box. I'll be happy to look into it and come with the next topic by looking at the reviews. Thank you guys, bye bye, take care.